in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Go. 
nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that he's boxing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big leg kick land. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Two minutes now to go in round one. Lee's kick blocked. Oh, Superman punch lands. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 90 seconds remain in the round. It's big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. leg kick throw. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh. What an end to round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Big body kick. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely, of kicks. Kick, 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 huh. kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 
you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Straight left counter, that one will work. Huge block there. Caught that kick there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And the first sounds on round two. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. This next round, I want you to relax a little bit. You're too tight. You're forcing your left. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked yep. about his powerful yep. kicks, how he attacks yep. all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Hands up, hands up. Oh, that kick is good. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Game of inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Great punch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Nice shot to the body there. Head kick. Tags him with the uppercut. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. 15 seconds. Nice kick there by Lee. Landed that left hook. Oh! Huge spinning kick! Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And 
at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC has done all his way to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Way to be first. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can run knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Defense there, huge block for him. He's got the turnover in that kick. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big leg kick land. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Punch over the top. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He's jumping. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Ten seconds to go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. One more, one more, one more. Great work last round. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. You really broke him down with your striking. Keep that going. The inside low kick is awesome. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Final round, you ready? You ready? So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice leg kick lands. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Circling to his right. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He hurt him. Straight punch lands. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck up. That's it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Holy smokes. What a fight. I should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact.
we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 27 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.